We're running. Oh. Hey! Part two of Boston Comic Con 2014. We bought more stuff. 2014? 2015. <laughs> 2015. I just got back from bike ride to check the schedule for work. So, very sweet. You want to do your shit for us? Oh. Doesn't matter. But yeah, um, so we went Friday. There's already a video on that. And we skipped Saturday, which was a good idea because uh, apparently everybody was packed. It was, it was all packed and very crowded. So we went Saturday, Sunday, uh, August 2nd. And I bought three more prints, and I got those three on the top, which are already in part one, uh, officially signed by them. And, uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Like, she has her virtual signature on it, so it's like, when she did it on the computer, she, like, signed it. So it's like, right there, there, and then, there. But those aren't, like, actual, like, written up signatures there, like, on the day. And then these are three different prints, which was actually from, uh, uh the side of the con we didn't see, uh, the first time around. Uh, skim lines. She was good. She was really nice. Uh, I actually uh, passed by her stuff once and uh, I saw a drawing of um, a fight scene between uh, Ryuko and Satsuki and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And I started looking around and it was all cool. And uh, I didn't go up to him, to her at first. Eventually did another pass and she was having a conversation with these two girls. Uh, and it was just a good conversation about video games and stuff. And so the girls left, and I jumped in and was like, oh yeah, video games and stuff. And we had struck a long conversation about 3DSs and old school gaming. And uh, at the end of it, I ended up buying these three, which is Panty and, St oh, no, Panty and Stocking. Which is, uh, I haven't seen it, but, but it's another show I would like to watch. But uh, yeah, quite the, quite the works of art. And then I got another Ryuko print. And uh, that's pretty much it. I've already shown everything else I got. Now I just need to get it all framed and put on the wall. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, take it over, dude. All right. Um, this is the Sunday day that we went. Um, like Alex said, we did, um, we did Friday. And we stayed from 12 to 7. And we skipped Saturday because Saturday's the major cosplay stuff. And I spoke to a couple of people. I actually met a lot of my old friends there. And uh, they told me it was packed Saturday. It was like sardines. People couldn't breathe. And it was very, very hot inside. So we're kind of glad we didn't go for the Saturday. Um, but we went Sunday. Me, Alex, his sister, Maria, and her boyfriend, Mike. And we had a great time. Um, I picked up another 40 or 50 comic books and uh, went to this gentleman here. I picked up, actually I picked up for, uh, for Naomi, I picked up some pretty cool stuff. Uh, my girlfriend, and she likes fairies, so I saw, I saw some pretty cool stuff. And this was Jay Moore's work. Um, if you like fairies, he's, he actually, did, these are uh, probably generic the generic fairies that he did, but he did a lot of like superheroes, uh, more of a in the fairy uh, yeah. context. Yeah. So he, that's that's what he was doing. But I, I I grabbed these three, these these three for ten bucks, so it was pretty cool. And then I found um, Andrew Cefalu, and his his artwork is just just simply amazing. I mean this 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 piece right here is just awesome. And um, so this is going to be her birthday present. But this is actually two different prints. And um, you just put them together. And it makes one big print. And what I will do is I'll put this in a frame for her. But it, the colors are vibrant. I wonder if I can get you a better light here so you can see the colors in this. It's, it's just it's just awesome. The, the colors in this thing is just fantastic. You know? And um, this is this is Andrew Cefalo is illustrations, which is I can try and see if I can get that for you, but 
there's his email address right there but he's he's a nice guy uh excellent stuff very very cool and then we come down to frank cho which was he was getting ready to leave he was tired and this is a print i got off of him um We'll have to flatten it as, out. As he was packing up, that was all one print on the table. Yeah, this was the only thing he had left. But he signed it here. And that was that. And I picked up this for five bucks. A little cap. It's made out of steel. Uh, not a bad deal. Especially when you... I guess it, it originally goes to like... IT99. At Home Accent. So it's just probably, probably a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx thing. Which I got for five bucks, which is pretty cool. And then we have the Donald Duck um, artist, uh, Don Rosa. What a great guy. Um, he did this Lord of the Rings print and he signed it for me up here. And this is Ganduck. Ganduck the Grey opens the portal of Moria, which was pretty cool. Um, so then we go up with a few grabs here, their cards and stuff. Um, there's a pretty neat dude, Dade, does miniatures. Of course, we got the, the Frazetta. And we have Doom Kitty, Ivy Doom Kitty, which I didn't get to see it, but she was there Saturday and she had the, that other thing. But she, I did get a card. Um, and there's a gentleman here. Him and I uh, were talking about exchanging um, artwork. Because I have a lot of Ralph Bakshi stuff, and he's definitely at the Wizards and wanted to pick up some stuff. And I actually have it. So, Zach from uh, Mice, uh, Massachusetts Independent Comics Expo, which is pretty, I guess he's going to be there October 17th and 18th in 2015. But, um, Zach Gellion, we're definitely going to um, exchange some uh, cool stuff. And then we have uh, a few other things here, which were pretty cool. Rich Pellegrino's um, two cards for, uh, he's doing a Kickstarter for the um, Peculiar family. And it's going to be an anthology. And then we have, whew, we have Jonathan Adrian. I, I forget what, what artwork I grabbed from him. I maybe I just gra grabbed this card. Uh, but that was it. That, that was day two, and of course I I got comic books out again, and uh, that looks that looks about like we got for the second day. Of course I got. Oh, I know what it was. I got a um, a calendar for my daughter, which she ended up taking from this guy here. Great art, great sculptor, fantastic stuff. Um, what's his? Does he have a? Yes, he does. He's got a website right there. If you can see it. Right there. All right, check out his stuff. Okay, um, and I'll be all of this. So then I guess we'll do uh, just final thoughts. Yeah, final thoughts on on Comic Con. So what I'll do is I'll just sit this baby right here. And uh, wait, you're gonna have to speak up a lot more. You think so? Because if it's that far away, I don't think so. All right, all right. So um. What do you think? It was good. It was, um, I feel a lot better going in on this one because I've been to so many other cons, especially, um, Anime Boston. Uh, Anime Boston really, like, taught me to look around, um, and, well, what was it, 2014? Yeah. Last year, the, the last year's Comic Con we did, I really didn't look around at all because I thought that was a con the con for Dad. More or less because he knew more artists and was of pretty much the comic book era where it was really big and you know a lot of artists and you know a lot of styles. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm just tag along for a while. What could go on? It's all nerd stuff. So I never really looked around and I learned from that and was like, all right, I should look around. And then Anime Boston, I learned that, oh, bring a backpack. Bring a backpack. If anybody who's watching and you uh, are planning to go to a con for your first, first time, Bring a backpack. Don't bring a dinky little bag. Because you think, oh yeah, I'm just going to bring a small bag because I'm not going to get anything. No, you should get a normal like backpack uh, to store everything in. 
uh, and just be prepared. I was pretty much the camel first day. Uh, Dad was just buying prints left and right, and a load of comments like this stack right here at the end of it ended up throwing it in the bag, and uh, it was good. Um, so, advice for cons backpack and look around. Don't be afraid to take your time. Um, just take it slow and easy. Like, we stopped at a lot of places and um, just looked at everybody's art and all their stuff, and it was really good. Um, also, cosplay is awesome. Anybody out there who does cosplay, um, it's really good. It's actually funny because I'm a big fan of the show Ruby from Rooster Teeth, and me and Dad were just leaning on a pole, or we sat down and started leaning on the pole, and we're just relaxing, trying to just take a small break. And I was looking at my 3DS doing uh, the uh, street pass, and I look up, and I looked at looked up at just the right moment because a Yang cosplayer who looked fantastic, um, ends up passing by, and I yelled, Dad, you gotta take my picture, and, I, and then eventually I'm trying to throw my 3DS in the bag, which I missed, then I pick my bag up, and the 3DS fall on the ground, I stepped, and I slipped on the 3DS, so I grab it, and throw it in the backpack, I'm like, so eventually I look up, and before the Yang cosplay kept moving, I, uh, I yelled, Yang! And a wave and she's like, oh, hey, and I'm like, yay. And uh, we all got up and uh, dad freaked out because he didn't know what was going on. And when he met the other dude. Well, okay, so we're back after the camera running out of memory. And uh, basically, I got the picture with Yang. I was really sick for it. I freaked dad out for a couple of seconds. And uh, it was really good. Um, actual Comic Con, it was good. Boston Comic Con was really good. Um, we weren't there Saturday, but uh, I'm pretty sure Dad already said that. It was packed Saturday. Everybody was like all scrunched together. So Friday and Sunday were the days to go. And we actually uh, missed like a good two hours of the show uh, on Sunday, <laughs> which was fine. We've already been there day one, and Sunday was pretty much to go with my sister and her boyfriend. Which was cool, is I, I believe their first con. Mm. Um, so they got to experience that and they got to meet artists and buy stuff. And uh, it was packed. I mean, it was bad for a little bit, but uh, eventually, I think when it hit around 4, 3 30 ish, I don't know, we, uh, we went in once, we walked around a little bit, talking about how crowded it was, and then we left to go and drop stuff up at the car and then grab stuff from it, and then we head back, and the second time we went in, it was a lot of those people. It was basically like Friday, which was good, because it was a lot of people, but it wasn't like you were packed, which was nice. Also, another thing for cons. Oh, I'm so glad you're looking at the wall. Um, <laughs> and I think for cons, patience. Patience is a virtue. Um, I'm very, like... I pretty much bottle up and have like patience for everybody because it's random people who are also generally have the same interests as you. And uh especially in Anime Boston, I don't think the the best part is when in during Anime Boston, which was in April, I was still in school and I could tell the difference from when I was in school in tight hallways with a bunch of kids that I didn't care about because they're all jerks. Uh, and then from people who are just random people of this very same interest in you, but you care so much because it's, oh, that person likes that show and it's called, they're so awesome. So it's like you bump into something, like, oh, so, so sorry. But also, be aware of your surroundings. Um, you know, always look around and make sure you're not like blocking somebody's way or something. I actually had that happen. I was texting my buddy about something and I noticed a guy who was in front of me who looked like he wanted again, but he didn't say anything and he wasn't making any moves. Until eventually I got done the text. And he's like, oh, hey, is alright if you move? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, oh, I just didn't want to say anything. I was like, no, totally say something, you know. Be be nice. And deodorant, all that other stuff. Pretty much basic con <laughs> stuff if you're going to a really nerdy convention. Uh, it was good. It was really good. Um, I don't know what to say other than that. But uh, it, it was good. It's very nice. It kills you, especially if anybody out there who works weekends. Um, it it sucked. Uh, Friday I was drained. I went into work Saturday. 
I was so glad because I work at Dunkin Donuts. I was put up front and it was really slow and I could just be like, uh, you know, I could just, I didn't have to put an extra effort I didn't need to. And then Sunday I'm probably going to sleep hopefully good because I'm so exhausted. But now that means I get to play video games after because now my whole week is now free and I don't have to worry about anything. Besides slapping all this fantastic art up and that's, Sounds like sarcasm, but it's not. It really is great. I can actually make this look nice. Not to say that I mean a Kick-Ass 2 poster and Angry Birds poster isn't bad, but it's like I don't really care about that. Especially considering Kick-Ass 2 was August 2013. Yeah, that's that's it for me. So let's take it away, Dad. All right. Um, Pretty interesting, and you, you get two viewpoints. You get you got mine, and you've got Alex's. Alex, who's seventeen, going on seventeen, and Dad, who's gone on fifty-four. <laughs> so there's a wide age Spurring. age span there. Um, you tell you can tell you're getting old when a lot of the artists you don't know, but their their artwork is fantastic. The young people coming up through the ranks. Um, I grew up with Frazetta, um, Kirby, Stanley, um, John Romita, um, Feldstein, and numerous other people. I was able to meet and greet uh, Frank Frazetta's granddaughter, which was awesome. Um, Alex Savoy, fantastic guy, actually. Um, we exchanged phone numbers, so that that's pretty cool. Um, then I met Frank Cho, so he, he's pretty neat. Um, Amanda Connor's line was pretty pretty long. Amanda and uh, Pilates was there, but I mean their their line was was incredible. And I, I've got stuff on the wall regarding Amanda, so I didn't really need to bump into her again. I would have liked to, but the line was just too long, and I wanted to get other people. Um, there were a lot of old timers there, which was cool, but it seems you know you start to get up there in age, and and it's 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 different. Um, a lot of cosplay; they look cool. Um, of course, the younger and they're they're pretty hot girls there, but it's kind of creepy when you get a fifty year old guy. So that kind of made me feel a little weird. But there's a lot of cool stuff, like uh, the people dressed up like Stormtroopers and Star Wars and Star Trek and um, that neat stuff. I didn't mind taking pictures of that because it's not too, uh, what's the, the, the key word now is petty. So uh, I don't want to be... Have that, pedo. Yeah, pedo Pedophile. Whatever the hell it is. So it kind of makes you think. But um, as far as old time and stuff goes, pretty cool. Um, when you buy comics, I think the best time to buy comics is probably on the last day because you're getting sales. Um, what happens what, what happens is uh, I saw a lot of comics that were overpriced, saw a lot of comics that were pretty cool. Um, hit your last day, that's when everyone's packing up. I know when I used to do shows, when I actually sold comic books at shows and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want to take half the shit home with me. Uh, honestly, I just wanted to get rid of it. So if you're gonna buy stuff, Wait for the last day. Unless you get something that you really, really want and people cherry pick through the stuff, wait for, your, wait, wait for the last day. If you're going to be going to three days or if you're going to pick a day to go, strate strategy. Use strategy when, when, when you're going to pick what day you're going to head to. Um, if you're going to buy comic books there, if you're going to com Comic Con to buy comic books, then wait for the last day. You're going to get the deals. I mean, there, there was a lot of deals going on to the very end. Because a lot of guys don't want to take that crap home with them anymore. It's, it's, it's a lot lugging it and packing it up and bringing it home. So uh, as far as that goes, um, that's what I would do. Uh, at least from what I saw. Uh, and from being in business myself. Um, artists. Artists get tired towards the end. So if you're looking for autographs, you're looking to talk to artists, hit them on the first day. The first day... It's, it's not too bad, there's not too many people there. You can actually get in line and talk to them and then take it easy and they're vibrant. They're not all worn out and they like to talk. They like to talk about what they're doing and exchange stuff. And remember that these are people too. 
they're at the shows, they're working, they're trying to make money to survive, uh, and that's and that's what it's about. It's about enjoying the hobby and, and all of us getting together. Um, I saw a mix of people, old, young, black, white, Hispanic, you name it. What a, what a great, great group of people. I mean, it's we all love the hobby, we all love it, and we all come together. And, and I thought that was simply amazing that all these people could come together in such a, a safe environment with no problems. And you can't say that about any other hobby like what we have. Um, so I guess you go out there, do your thing. Don't be afraid of who you are. And just remember that everybody, everybody walking that floor is just like you. They're there for the same thing, to have fun. Um, Till next year, um, peace out, and we'll see you later. Thanks.